Hi everybody, this is Doreen. I finally am getting a chance to sit down and do a video on a couple of tags that I made. So let me show you what I've done. I made this tag using just a regular old shipping tag and you can purchase them at any office supply store. You get like a hundred tags for I believe I paid $5.99 or $6.99 they measure four and three quarters by two and three eighths. So this is what I did. I first started off by stamping uh, some images and I stamped believe, perfect, beautiful, and a little flower. And I got those stamps, images, from a stamp set that's by Close to My Heart it's the everyday life so then once I stamped those images I then took my glimmer mist and applied that the colors that I used was timeless lilac and then I used memory mist iridescent and then I took that after I uh, applied the glimmer mist and I heat set it and then I took my Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and I just went along the edges. Once I got that done, I then took my stamp by Inka Dinka Do. It's a butterfly set and I apologize, I don't have the name of this, but I bought it at, one, at Michael's on one of my hauls. So you can find it there and I believe Joanne sells it as well and I applied that with Versamark and then once I applied the butterfly with the Versamark I took my black beauty and I heat embossed that with my embossing gun and once that was dry I applied a little bit more glimmer mist along on top of the butterfly and then I took and added some fibers that I picked up on another haul and I added this butterfly charm that I picked up on one of my Michaels hauls and the funny thing is on the other side of this charm is the word change but I kinda liked the imprint that was on this side so I used this side instead and then to make my flower this is actually cardstock it's some Stampin' Up cardstock that I had and I used my Stampin' Up scallop punch and I cut out I think it was five um, scallops and then I took a little bit of water and wet each scallop and I learned this on another YouTuber's channel um, Chris creations by Christina I'll put the link in the sidebar and then after um, they were completely wet I took them and bunched them up and then I applied them together with a, a brad in the middle and then I just kinda just kept twirling and twirling until I got it to the shape that I want the last thing I did was I put a little small envelope on the back because I'm gonna stick a little note inside and to make this envelope I use my Cricut and I got the envelope from the potpourri basket cartridge set now I don't think you can buy this set in the stores you might be able to get it on Cricut's website and I'm not even sure if you can get it that way either it actually came with my Cricut so I used the envelope which is on page 32 and I cut that at three and a quarter inches on the shadow feature and also in this little cartri um, cartridge is the Cricut bug so like I said I don't know if you can um, pick that up in the stores I think you can only get it when you purchase your Cricut expression so those are the supplies I use to make this card. I'm sorry, this tag. I'm really proud of the way it came out. It's really nice. 
Okay. The next tag that I have is I call this my girly girl tag. Um, I use I use the same thing, another shipping tag, and what I did was I applied glimmer mist. No, I'm sorry. I actually stamped my image first. It's a French saying. It's another stamp that I picked up on one of my hauls. It doesn't actually. It's it's a hero art stamp, and it's called Stamp Long Writing Background. It's really cute. And what I used to stamp this was the Creamy Caramel Stampin' Up ink pad. Once I had that stamped, I then went back and I stamped some more images. I've got shoes, purses, and I got that set. It's called Purses and Shoes. And it is also another Inka Dinka Do set. And then I took the girl from my Close to My Heart uh, Everyday Life stamp set. And I stamped that in Versamark. And then I took my Black Beauty and embossed. But before I actually stamped the the lady, I um, used my Glimmer Mist again, and I used the same colors as before, the Timeless Lilac and the Iridescent by Memory Mist. At the time I made these tags, I only had the two Glimmer Mists, uh, the Timeless Lilac, and I had the Memory Mister. I hadn't done my haul for all the Glimmer Mists that I purchased after I watched um, Arlene's and the colors that she had. So now I can't wait to get started and use some more of the Glimmer Mist that I picked up from my previous haul. So the other thing that I did was I added some more fibers and then I added a little charm that I picked up on one of my hauls that says goals and then I just added this little flower that I also picked up at one of my hauls. So, that's my two tags. I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments. Bye.